Hey guys, back with another video. So today we are going to look at a very interesting stock. This stock is owned by the legendary investor Michael Burry. He actually holds around 850,000 shares of this company in his portfolio. And not only that, the stock is currently trading at a historic low price to earnings ratio at around 6.26 PE. And on top of that, the CEO of the company recently purchased about $3 million worth of shares in his portfolio. So let's find out what stock is it that we're talking about today. All right, the stock is GeoGroup INC, ticker symbol GEO, currently trading at around $5.88. This is a real estate investment trust or REIT in brief that operates in the private prison sector. The total market cap of the company is $750 million. 52 week low is $5.57, where 52 week high is $14.81. So that means the stock is currently trading at about 60% below its 52 week high. We look at the fundamentals of the business and some key valuation metrics to decide whether GEO is a good investment opportunity for us at this price level. So without any more delay, let's dive into the analysis. Okay, so first we'll see if the revenue and net incomes are growing year over year. Now looking at the last annual statement, that is their 10K report published in February 2021, we see that their revenue is somewhat stagnant since 2018 at around 2.3 to $2.4 billion. Now this is not a great sign necessarily since their revenues are not growing. The net incomes are also declining since 2018. Again, not a great sign. If you look at their net profit margin, you'll see that it's actually only around 5%, which is very low. However, for a REIT, I'd be more interested to look at their cash flow statements. Now, interestingly for GEO, they're actually growing their cash flows from operations at an impressive 25% year over year since 2018. In 2018, they had a total cash flow from operations of around $274 million, and in 2020, they significantly increased this to $441 million, which is actually great to see. Now let's analyze their balance sheet to see if they're able to meet their short-term and long-term financial obligations. Looking at their balance sheet, we see that they have a total current assets of $711 million and a total current liabilities of $411 million. This means that they should be okay financially in the short term. Now the long-term debt is around $2.5 billion, which is a little bit concerning for me. However, their total assets of $4.4 billion, which gives me some hope in that regard. I wouldn't worry about their financial situation in the short term, but definitely will keep an eye in their long term. Okay, now let's analyze their revenue segmentation to see the revenue sources and how diversified their revenue streams are. Looking at the chart, we see that around 29% of their revenues are actually coming from ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, 14% coming from Federal Bureau of Prisons, that is BOP, 13% from US Marshals, US MS, 11% from other federal and state contracts. Then 23% coming from GeoCare, 9% international, and 1% from other sources. So you can see around 70% of their total revenue are actually coming from federal and state contracts. This shows the dependence on federal and state government for their revenue stream, which is a little bit risky, but I think they're well diversified among different government organizations. But just to give you guys a sense of the risk, a recent executive order signed by President Biden in January 26, 2021 will be costing GEO approximately $145 million in terms of lost revenue. Now this is due to the fact that the executive order uh, made uh, the government um, not to renew some of the contracts with the private prisons. This can continue and can cause additional lost revenue for GEO. Due to this executive order, about 27% of their total revenue could be potentially at risk over time. I don't necessarily think this will be gone entirely anytime soon, but this is something to keep in mind while planning to invest in this stock. Okay, let's now analyze some of the key valuation metrics. Looking at the P ratio from 2008 to 2020, we see that GEO is currently trading at around the lowest P ratio since 2008. The current P ratio is 6.26, which is very cheap. If you look at the forward P ratio, that's also very cheap at 6.61. So this shows an attractive valuation at the current price level. 
Now comparing Jio with its only competitor that is Core Civic, we see that both the stocks are actually very undervalued. I think the private prison sector is currently overreacting and I think we will always need private prisons or prisons and correctional facilities in our society. Anyway, if you look at the price to sales, price to book, price to free cash flow, price to funds from operations, in all metric, Jio actually seems very undervalued and might actually present a very good long-term investment opportunity for us here. So the price to sales is actually 0.3, price to book is less than one at 0.78, price to earnings 6.26, price to free cash flow 2.1 and price to funds from operations is also very low at 3.12. Now this definitely presents an attractive valuation for this stock. Looking at analyst recommendation, two analysts rated this as a buy and two rated as a hold. Average price target from two analysts is actually $15 and the stock is currently sitting at around $5.88 which is 60% below average analyst price target. Now, instead of buying, give us additional conviction whether the stock is currently undervalued or overvalued. Looking at the insider transaction, we see that the CEO of the company recently purchased about $3 million worth of shares at $11.31 per share. And he made the purchase on May 6, 2020. And also looking at the holdings of legendary investor Michael Burry as of February 16, 2021, we see that he also holds approximately $7.5 million worth of shares in his portfolio, which is another good indicator. So what are my thoughts on the stock? So here is what I personally think about the stock. I think the stock is cheaply priced and very undervalued. In terms of uncertainties, I think there are uncertainties associated with the political environment. For example, more executive orders to terminate federal contracts with private prisons might actually hurt GEO in the future. The long-term debt of $2.5 billion is an issue, but I'll keep an eye on this. Typically, REITs have high long-term debts as they borrow a lot of money to build real estates. Anyway, so some of the catalysts for GEO might be the new contracts signed with federal and state governments, change in political environments, and also future dividends, etc. might play a very big role as catalysts. Finally, what's the verdict? Alright, so based on the current valuations, I think GEO is a buy under $6 per share. This is a long-term play and I hold a small position of this stock in my portfolio. Please note that this is not a financial advice. You need to do your own due diligence to buy in this stock or in any other stock. This is just my personal opinion on GS stock for entertainment purpose only. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and let me know in the comment section if you're invested in this stock. And also if you'd like to see more updates on GEO in the future. With that being said, I'll see you on the next video and good luck with your investment.